Hello friends, I am running out of the house now. I've got, and I have no list. This is gonna be fun. I'm pressed for time and oh, have no list. But we are running, I did look for we are running to um, Aldi and Walmart today because we need groceries. Sam took my car yesterday when he went to Atlanta with some friends um, for a like soccer game. Um, one of our friends, he turned 30 in May, like the end of May, and he's a soccer fan. Um, and they had, oh, the animal hair in my car already needs to be cleaned out of her vacation. They had uh, planned a game because they're all like Charlotte slash Atlanta fans. And Charlotte played Atlanta in Atlanta. So like the, the four guys in our like friend group went to Atlanta for this guy's 30th birthday. So I get groceries. I wanted to show y'all today's outfit in my very dirty garage. Got my white hokas on with my white high, high socks. I will literally never not wear high socks. I love them. I love the look. They're comfortable. You have no rubbing. It's just the best. This set is from Amazon, wearing a medium. And then this top, I don't think they make it anymore, slash it's out of stock. It's from Aerie. I'll link a couple similar options. This, I get um, questions about it from time to time. This is not new. I've actually had this since like Christmas 2021. It is like the LV um, prompt. I will put the, <laughs> I'll put the, what it is up on the screen. Um, but it's not new. And then, oh, key sunnies. These I got from the Nordstrom sale last year and they work really well under hats. I'll see if they still sell this style. I don't think they do. Um, they may on the website, may not be like this exact color, but we've got to go to Walmart first because I wanna make sure they have it. If not, I'm gonna to have to go somewhere else. That's why I just wanna get it done. Um, we, oh, Ezra has been having meltdown after meltdown after meltdown lately, and it's been tough. And they're really bad in the mornings, like right when he wakes up. And the problem is like, we can't get protein in him. We can't get food in him, but he's always a different person after he eats. But in the 10 minutes that it takes us to make him a good high protein breakfast, he tends to already have a meltdown and then he doesn't want to eat his breakfast and he throws his food. So Sam actually said his brother was the same way. And I remember when my brother was like this, when they were little, like protein just made a difference in them. I had already talked to um, boy's doctor about it and specifically just Ezra, like he just is so grumpy. And I remember my mom used to be like, okay, Daniel, let's get your hot chocolate. Like, let's drink your hot chocolate for the day. And he would turn into a different person. And it was like six months later, my mom was like, it's protein hot chocolate. Like I put protein in his hot chocolate. And so Sam's brother having done it, the same thing. And he said it made a huge difference in him in the mornings. So we're gonna try that because it's like the moment his feet hit the floor, even after he's well rested, like it is just a disaster. So there's these specific kid, like protein breakfast shakes. Um, and another thing the doctor told me was just, she was like, if, um, you know, they're great if he's not getting, again, a ton of protein in his diet because he's just not eating all of his foods or whatever. Um, and we already have him on a multivitamin to kind of help supplement if he's just not in the mood, but he's just a toddler. Like he's just two and this is normal. And I have seen so many, like I've looked at so many food accounts and read books about it. And it is just unfortunately kind of a phase that some, not all kids go through, but I mean, I think the, according to what I've read, like most do go through a little phase where they don't want to eat because they're just busy. So I gotta go find these like specific kids protein shakes. And then we're gonna go to Aldi, get our groceries for the week and then come home. My parents have the boys today. This is my dad's first day retired. Um, and he's home watching my babies. And um, of course, cause they live next door, it's super easy. Um, but Mondays and Tuesdays, you guys know, are my heavy filming days. Like I film a ton of content for my main channel on YouTube. So that's what we're doing. And hopefully it moves at a relatively fast pace because we're pushing, like the boys go to my parents' house, but Ezra doesn't nap well anywhere that's not his crib. So, and if he doesn't nap, he's even more cranky. So he has to come home to nap. So I need to be home when he naps. Um, so that's what we're doing. All right, this is the one that we talked about. I got the like powder. We'll see if we can mix it. I've got strawberry and chocolate. 
Now there is literally an Aldi across the street, but there's an Aldi that's much closer to my house and that's the one that I'm gonna go to because this one is always gross. It is always slam full. The workers are always so rude. They're like restocking in the most worst times. Like a Saturday morning when everybody's grocery shopping, they're restocking and they like glare at you if you dare come near them. And it's just not as nice as the one that we have. And I know also this one doesn't have things in the same location. So I'm going to go to my Aldi. My Peloton shoes came in, so we'll prop y'all up on that box. And our Peloton comes on Friday. I'm so excited. So I got the two little protein drinks. This is where I keep all the cool stuff. Aldi, I'll tell y'all the total at the end, but Aldi is truly the best place if you have one near you. Do not skip out on it. They have very, very high quality meats, um, organic stuff. Their pouches rate super, super well for children. So there's no junk hidden in them. I just love Aldi. They have a very high standard for things. So I got three of these 100% grass-fed ground beef packs. These are 16 ounces each. And today is a low carb day. So I actually eat a freaking ton of ground beef on low carb days because you have more fat availability and it's very, very low carb. I got three of their cage free eggs. They did not have their little large brown eggs. Um, again, I don't get to pick what kind of eggs they have, but they e either had like white eggs and then they had no organic eggs, no pasture raised eggs, nothing. So I just had the like cage free is what I grabbed. One gallon of 2% milk. And then Sam and I actually are kind of looking for different dinner ideas. So I've seen these and Sam has actually talked about these a couple times. They're chicken breast skewers, sweet chili lime. I put them in this like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they look like they're, I, it looks like they're individually packaged. So you could maybe cook just a few at a time, but I put them in this baggie because it looked like it was leaking a little bit. It doesn't now, but I just, I don't like, that's gross. So did that and then this is actually what I think we're gonna have tonight. The sun-dried tomato basil seasoned chicken. I've never seen this before. It just looks so good. Seasoned, uncooked, boneless, skinless, sun-dried tomato basil chicken breasts with ribbon. Like that looks so freaking good to me. And then I also got some pork chops. I meant to get lemons. Shoot, I meant to get lemons for the pork chops. It's fine. Um, I got two bunches of bananas. I get asked what my favorite sourdough is all the time. It is this one from Aldi. It is delicious and it's right with all of the other bread. So I got that. Sam really likes their Italian loaves. This is the one he gets. And then I got some sesame seed buns because we do have some burger patties and then regular white bread. Their sea salt pita chips are superior. Granny Smith apples. I got these. My child is out of his crib right now. Are you kidding me? Legit, he just got mad that it was me and not my dad because my dad was the one who put him down for now. So I got sun-dried tomato wraps, zero artificial flavors. Um, these seemed like relatively good on the macro counting scale. And then I also wanted to try these keto friendly multi seed. I am not keto, but whenever something has that it's keto friendly, um, it does tend to be very macro friendly as well, just because usually you're, it's, it's pretty carb conscious. Um, and I do two low carb days a week on the weight loss program that I'm a part of. So I wanted to try that. Some broccoli. Broccoli is a great way to reach your carb goals. Um, and it's also very, very low fat on days that I'm not low carb. This is Chipotle bacon dip. I've never seen this at Aldi before. And it looks really good. I got two packages of the Buffalo style chicken breast for wraps, some tomatoes, um, grape tomatoes, cucumbers. I love these things so much. They are the perfect bars and I usually will split them in half um, cause these full ones are like not very macro friendly, but they're so good. And they're kind of a good sweet treat. Danimals for E. We did the thick and chunky salsa. This is the organic medium. I love a good medium salsa. I was really craving a 
cantaloupe. So I got the cantaloupe. And then roasted red pepper hummus. This is really good with the cucumbers. Strawberries. I got two packages of their jumbo buttermilk biscuits because we do biscuits. Like we cook and do like a whole big biscuit, egg, bacon breakfast on Sundays and it's so good and the boys love it. Rotisserie style pulled chicken. Got that for some meals this week. Ezra really loves these um, blueberry mini muffins that are with like the bread. So I got those. And then I also am hating all of my options right now. Creamer is definitely not a macro friendly thing. I can't do just regular milk in my coffee. And the Chobani sweet cream creamer was my favorite for a while, but it's just not very macro friendly. And I don't want to waste my macros on a drink. I've never been someone to drink calories. It's just such a waste. So I've been looking for something that's a little bit better, but like still has good flavor to it. So I'm gonna try this French vanilla coffee creamer. It has zero grams of fat, um, or I guess trans fat per serving, but it seems relatively macro friendly-ish. Uh, romaine lettuce, because this is super good on wraps. Some spinach, mozzarella. Y'all know my boy loves himself some gnocchi, so I got some of this. Probably should have gotten two, but it's Alfredo stuffed gnocchi, so I thought that sounded good. It did get the boys a ton of pouches. Like, I get the apple, banana, raspberry, pear, blueberry, spinach, like the red kind. I get the orange, I mean, a ton. And then, let's see, also got purple. I always, always, always keep corn and black beans in stock on my cabinets because I use these all the time for so many things. Like I just like black beans like with chicken. These are so good. They have an Angus beef one that's not as good. I think they may even have another flavor, but this is hands down my favorite. So this is the Bremer um, chicken melts. These are so, so delicious. 17 carbs, 11 grams of protein and eight grams of fat. So love, love, love these things so much. I also got these Brecky ready to eat oats and dark chocolates as dairy-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and vegan. I have never had these before, but they looked super good. They kind of look like a pudding. So I grabbed some of those to try. And then the last thing genuinely makes me giggle. My father hates pickles. Like with every bone in his body, he never has, like snarls his nose up. Ezra loves pickles. Like always is asking, like if Sam gets a Chick-fil-A sandwich and we're around Ezra, Sam likes extra pickles on his sandwich and Ezra will still try and eat all of the pickles. So he really likes these. They're the O Snap Snack Packs. They're Dilly Bites, I think is the brand. And these little bags are literally like, it says fresh packed, always crisp, perfectly seasoned, great tasting, no brine added, less mess, fat free, gluten free. It is six individually packaged Dilly Bite pouches. Ezra loves these so much. So I got two. And that is it for Aldi. He is still in there, just discreetion. And then let me see. The total for everything you're seeing here, we're talking some gluten-free, dairy-free options, bakery, we've got um, organic meats. I mean, organic, a lot of the green stuff was organic, organic pouches for the kids. The total was 192.47. I got 71 things. So if I was to buy this much food at like a Food Lion or even a Walmart, it would be so much more expensive. So go to Aldi if you're not already shopping there. It is so, so, so good. So I'm gonna eat this now and then put some of the groceries away and I gotta finish filming. So I, that is it for this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so glad you guys are loving the daily vlogs. Um, I get them up every day at 10 a.m. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you're new here and I'll see y'all in the next one.